This is what it's all about, ain't it? Is it? Look at this place. Look at this place. Hola. So, we keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible, shake them that's following us, and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Now, where have I heard that before? Hey, boy. Whoa! Spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. Easy now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And... There ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. Hold. Where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. The Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons and better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. Be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, 
I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Yeah. Whoa. He's been shot. Let's be careful, Arthur. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? M men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Wait a second. Just want to look closer here. Looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Think this is the right way? Give me a second. along the shore here. Now, I was saying, the bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of you. What are you doing? Easy. Uh, that kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, 
He reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. <laughs> if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. A year of Hold up. Let me check this. They carry on along this trail. So you was just talking about something? You did? And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. Camp up ahead. Be careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. this guy I don't know but you know something this is a better camp spot than back there much easier to defend maybe this looks like our feather Charles quick cut him free and let's get out of here I see three coming this way. What the hell do you think you're doing? Why the hell you drag us into this, Charles? See what they've left behind for us. Bitte, lass es mich gehen. It's okay. We're getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Here you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work. Of course. I agree. Take you back to your family. Was machen wir jetzt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yeah.
Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Ach. Andreas, Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wär's so gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here, this place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. You know, in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. You show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long time. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fish. Come on, then. Fish here. It's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. 
Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Well, well, Let's look who we it is. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train! Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Mm, looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. What are you waiting for? I'm out here! <laughs> Idiot! Now get after the others. Come on! The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Yep. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Watch out, he's throwing bottles at us. Uh, you cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Uh, God. Go to hell. Damn fool. Uh, uh. Come on, Mr. Callahan. Shit, bag! 
we need to bother. Let me go. Can't do that. I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people. Truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. To Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Chop, chop. Don't just leave him slumped on there for the whole town to see. Bring him in so we can show Sheriff Gray. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Well, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. 
Uh, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of the rebel gold. Marrying cousins or not marrying Arthur. That's it. Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here. And it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Huh. Okay, so these two plantation families... Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there? Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man. <laughs> 